hey, how you doing? We're at the city farm, and uh, we're going to install a radio on our tractor because it's kind of boring when we mow the lawn. So uh, we've got a radio here. We're going to uh, put on the dash of this tractor, and we're going to taper down. Yeah, I have it pretty good. Now, one thing we need make sure you have a long enough extension cord when you do this. Okay? Because uh gotta plug your radio in somehow. There we go. A radio on our lawn tractor to mow our lawn. Who needs an iPod? And in the words of Red Green, if a woman does not find you handsome, she should at least find you handy. Here we have the set 7684. It's the pig farm and tractor. Uh, I'm not actually going to show the build of it in in, uh, in high speed or anything because because uh, you can probably see that elsewhere on the YouTube. Anyway, uh, I'm going to build that one. I'm going to build the main farm. And I'm going to show you how to uh, build some other little things to go along with it and uh, modify the farm. There's a completed pig farm showing the tractor as well in the front loading the pigs onto the tractor. There's the completed tractor with the, a couple pigs in the back of it. Really nice little tractor and uh, the hopper in the back. The dumper is really cool too. Moving along, we show the bigger farm with the hopper dumping into the bigger tractor. Uh, that's a really nice set with some cows in it. We have a cornfield that we made and a scarecrow. And now we have the uh, NXT cows, or the cows that are run by the NXT brick. They move their heads as the train come along and they watch the train. And here's a quick video of that. <laughs> Let's build some cows. The cows that I decided to build. I found at TrueDimensions.com who have a great cow um, because it uses one motor instead of uh, two motors for each individual cow. Here's the instructions here on how to build them. The only changes in between I think eight and nine is the difference between the non-motorized and the motorized version of the cow. Um, here's the motorized showing the two, uh, the one motor in red with all the gears underneath the cows so they turn in sync with one another. Yeah, eight and nine is uh, where the difference is between the stationary and motorized cows. Um, and it stands about two bricks high, so it's not that high on your set, which is great. And uh, here's a parts list. I know it's not all that great to see there, but uh, if you pause this video, you should be able to see it. Just a quick note that this parts list is for the motorized cows and not the standard cows. Here is the NXT program for the NXT brick that I use for the train cows as I call it. So basically what I have done, I've created four blocks and put it within a loop to have it loop forever as is shown here. That's just so it will repeat itself after every program. And the program starts off by using block A, which is the ultrasonic sensor located on port 4, which is also shown up here as port 4, with a distance of less than 5 centimeters. So when the train passes in front of the ultrasonic sensor, it cuts off the beam, triggers the sensor, which then activates block B. 
Block B being the motor, shown on port B, also here, port B. And we have it going in a forward direction with 100% power for one second in the coast mode. So it just basically gives it a shot of power, cows turn their heads, and that's it. It then continues on to block C, which is a timer of five seconds. This gives the train five seconds to go by before it resets the cow's head in block D, which is basically the same motor as in block B, because it is on port B, only you will notice that the directions of the arrows are different, therefore reversing the motor, resetting the cow's heads. Once this is done, it loops back and starts the program over again, waiting for the sensor to be triggered. I originally had some trouble doing this because I was putting the loop at the end, not knowing how to actually use the LEGO Mindstorm set because this is brand new to me, so this is my first basic program that I've ever done with it. So then I had, got, had suggested to me that I put everything within the loop. So I put everything within the loop and of course now it works because I was trying to get the loop at the end and have it loop back. In theory it kind of makes sense, but if it's in the loop then that's the way it works. So that's basically it for the NXT Cow program. When you have your program complete, you hit the download and run button and you hit the download and run button and this sends the program this compiles and sends the program through the USB cable over the NXT brick. I would just like to mention when I download this uh, your NXT brick is uh, connected to the computer uh, via the USB port unlike the older RCX which was uh, a serial to um, infrared tower which transported your uh, program over to your RCX brick via the um, infrared system. So basically we just click on the download and run button and it will download it through the USB cable to your NXT brick and automatically start running it and you can test it if you have a problem you can go back tweak your program download it run it again until you've just refined it to where you want it and uh, be sure to save your program of course before you do this just to say, you know in the file click save as and uh, you'll have it saved and recall it for a later time good idea is if you do go from uh, place to place with your NXT programs put them on a little USB stick and then you can take it with you and take it um, to someone else's computer and uh, just transfer it over uh, instead of just leaving it on your computer and uh, not being able to, to uh, have it with you at any uh, time that you need it and that's basically it for the NXT program for the cows Okay, the sensor there picks up the cow's head of the train, and the heads turn, and they turn back when they reset. And we just lost the cow's head. We lost the head. He's so excited about the train, he lost his head.